Meteorologist Chris Boone. A lot of people looking forward to the weekend and maybe some calmer weather than what we've seen the past couple days. We saw the storms move through through the overnight hours last night into the early morning hours. Again, going in towards the weekend, much calmer conditions, mostly clear skies. Uh, we'll see those temperatures which can kind of hang back out into those 70s for Saturday. A little bit warmer as you go in towards your Sunday. Those highs kind of creeping up into those low 80s for those afternoon highs. And again, the KLST photo of the week. I want to thank the San Angelo Christian Academy for sending out the group of kindergartens. They got to see a little bit of a tour of the studio. Uh, had a little bit of fun on the green screen as well. So it was always kind of a great opportunity to have someone come out there and enjoy weather. A little bit of a break uh, during the morning time frame. We did see some of those uh, calmer conditions kind of back behind that system as those storms pushed off towards the east. We've been seeing those mostly clear skies, but still some gusty winds. The dust has stayed for the most part off towards the north. 24 hour rain totals. Again, we saw some of the heavier rain basically develop right around midnight, moved off towards the northeast. We saw some heavy rain move through the Great Creek area, had some power outages, some large hail in towards parts of Runnels County as it got in towards the winters area, but some beneficial rain for much of the Concho Valley thanks to those heavier thunderstorms. So again, didn't see uh, fortunately kind of keeping the severe weather a little bit on the lighter side, but we did see some beneficial rain. Most places clocked in about anywhere between half to an inch of rain. Again, Bront was one of the winter winners at just under an inch of rain, just over a third of an inch out at the airport, but it seemed like the heavier rain was in the northern side of San Angelo. Temperatures warming up right now into the mid 70s for most of the Concho Valley, 76 in Eden. Same with Coleman as well. A couple 80s hanging out in towards the southeast. Mason at 80 degrees and 81 right now in Junction as we continue into the evening hours. But the bigger story has definitely been those gusty winds out of the west. And you're seeing gusts of 45 here in San Angelo, 43 in Merton, same with Robert Lee, and a gust of 44 in towards Sterling City. So we're going to continue to see the next couple of hours with these gusty winds. As we go into the overnight, those winds will start to die down, but it's going to take its kind of time as we go through the overnight hours. So could still hear some breezy conditions into the evening. 75 right now in downtown San Angelo as we look off towards the west. A little bit of haze on the horizon. Not expect, not did see. Uh, very widespread dust, but it's still a little bit of particles kind of picked up with those very gusty winds. Much drier behind that system, 25 for our dew points, so those winds out of the west drying things out. As we go into the evening hours, still hanging on to some gusty winds uh, through the overnight with temperatures dropping down into the upper 40s. Tomorrow, though, mostly clear skies, clear and cool. Highs only reaching up into the 70s. We'll top out at 73 here in San Angelo, and those winds taking a bit of a break still will be out of the west, but gusting uh, not nearly as high as what we're expecting for today and into the evening hours. Those winds will start to ease up going in towards the weekend. That's going to shape up pretty nicely, but as we get in towards the beginning of next week, those winds pick back up out of the south and southwest. That's going to kick off a little bit of a warming trend. Taking a look at our future cast, not a whole lot expected, though we will see more moisture work its way in for the southern parts of the Concho Valley, so could see some very isolated rain chances going in towards next week, but for the most part, it's just going to be the increase increased cloud coverage with some very hit or miss storms getting expected for us on Monday as well as possible on Wednesday. I think our better rain chances really start to ramp up on Friday of next week.